Ooh. All right. So we have the star. Hi, I'm Michelle. This is Angel Souls. This is an angelic message. Hang with me because when you watch these videos, even if you say, I don't believe in this stuff, that's a lie. Okay. Because that's not how the algorithm works. Okay. Clearly you have some curiosity about this or you wouldn't have found this video. Okay. It's also not how energy works. So there you go. Stick around. You learn a few things. Angelsouls444.com. So we have the star. We have the number 17 on here. Seven is archangelic energy. One is the self. It's being your own authority. It's being the leader. It's having clarity of thought. It's having direction. Okay. So we have the star. Archangel Jophiel is all about beauty and wisdom. A dream come true. Believe in yourself. The end of a difficult situation. <sighs> oh, cool. How <laughs> many of us are ready to shake off? Maybe the last several years. Okay. I mean, geez. So maybe even going back to 2008, check with your favorite astrologer. They can explain all of that. I didn't study astrology. It's hard. It's math. If someone's if someone else is willing to do it, let them. Let them. They'll tell me what's going on. <laughs> it's fine. I don't need to go in there. All right. So this is a time where like huge long cycles are finally coming to a culmination and then a completion. And the star is all about healing. She's about letting go, letting go of some emotional baggage. This is really coming into your own. It's coming into a place of maturity from like a spiritual standpoint. Okay. Now from that, from that, something beautiful is awakening. Jophiel is usually associated with the crown chakra. The crown chakra is connected to the divine. And how high has this microphone been up this entire time? It's like all up in my face. <laughs> it's unwieldy. Anyway, what was I saying? Connection to the divine. Yes. Uh, and so opening up that crown chakra and restoring yourself, you start to have this remembrance and it's not a remembrance in the mind. It's something that is a whole body, whole being experience. It's like your parameters sort of dissipate and you become one with the universe. Hey, you know what? I'm still in a weird mood today. <laughs> I can say stuff like that. It's my channel, right? I can do it. So yeah, but no, but like for real though, it's 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 this nice sort of like like a warm water washing over you like a gentle floating kind of feeling and a love that's very difficult to experience here in the physical but something you remember profoundly so reaching that place and especially if you're a light worker and you feel like you've been missing something for a good portion of your life it's that it's that it's the divine love and I know you tap into it I know you translate it through this physical being that you call whatever your name is, but this this gives you the opportunity to kind of like reach home again. And I remember I said that in another video and someone had to comment, home isn't like a very good place for everybody. Sometimes that is a triggering word for some. Um, as a Xennial, I would, I, I kind of walk the fine line between Gen X and millennials. So I would caution you on trying to find any angle where you can be a victim. It's very disempowering. And also you miss the point. Home isn't like the town you were born in or the house you were born in or where your family maybe still resides. Home is that connection. It's the deepest heart within the heart space. It's cosmic. Whew, I'm still in a weird mood. It is godly. Now, if you're triggered by the word God, okay, okay. I'm not, it doesn't have to be the God of the Bible, okay? It doesn't have to be the one that was like man-made. I don't care what you do with God. I mean, I mean, I kind of do a little bit, but like <laughs> that higher universal power love to me god is an experience that can be accessed through falling in love so falling in love with another person if you can find it great falling in love with the beauty around you yes falling in love with a little puppy yes okay all of it <laughs> or in my case the neighborhood cats 
Some of them have not visited me recently. I'm a little sad about that. But like they're they belong to people, I guess, or like they they have their humans. But one of them is a big orange cat and he curls up on my doorstep. Like literally like I can't open the door because he's tucked right up against like the front of the house. And every time I walk up, he's always sleeping. And he always looks at me with like a sleepy little orange face. And he's like talking to me like, it's almost like, where have you been? <laughs> I don't know. But I have an orange cat and there's a black cat out there. Uh, don't know their names, but um, I love them. And it's like, they're they're my little friends or something. I don't know. So fall in love. Find a moment like that. When I walk up and one of those cats are on my porch, I'm like, hi, kitty. Hi, baby. <laughs> <laughs> and I just I just gush with love. Uh, same thing with babies. All right. Like babies are beautiful. Um, they're giggles. I mean, that that is like in the physical form, really a good way to get close to God. It's just listening to a baby laugh, you know, those kinds of things. So take that with you today. I'll see you later. And I'm sending you love. Take care.